Hey guys, ever wondered what your Fire Stick is truly capable of? In just moments, I'll show you the one app that unlocks a gateway to endless new movies. All the TV shows you love, live broadcasts, and even pay-per-view events. All without spending a dime. This isn't your average app you'd find on the Amazon store. It's a hidden app hub filled with powerful little-known apps. And it's the new download method for you. And yeah, I'll even share my top secret picks. The ones I use every single day. Ready for the grand tour? Let's jump in. First, let's head to the Amazon App Store to grab a specific app. The easiest way is to go to your home screen and find the magnifying glass icon. Highlight it, press down, and click the center button on your remote. A keyboard will appear. Type in Downloader. It will pop up in the suggestions. Scroll down, highlight it, and click the center button. This will take you directly to the distinct orange app we're looking for. Let's click on it. Now you can get this app for your device. Just click the center button and the download will begin. Give it a moment. It will automatically set itself up. Once it's complete, it'll say launch now. Don't open it just yet. With launch now on the screen, press the home button on your remote. Next, we need to go into your Amazon Fire Stick settings to change a particular option. The most direct path is to slide all the way to the right on your home screen. A menu will appear at the bottom. Slide down. We're looking for My Fire TV. If your device hasn't been updated, My Fire TV might be in a different place. For older versions, it might even be called My Device. Whatever it's called or wherever it is, that's the option we need. Let's click on it together. After you click on it, everyone's screen should look fairly similar. Mine might look a little different because I have developer options. If you don't see that, no need to worry. I'll show you how to enable it. Just go up and click About. Then with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, press the center button nine times. A message will then appear saying, congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that notification, Click the back button, and developer options will now be visible on this menu. All right, let's click into developer options together. The first item you'll see is ADB debugging. Click the center button once to turn it on, just like that. A small confirmation box might appear. Simply slide down and click allow. Next, click on install unknown apps. You'll see downloader in the list. You might have other applications there too. Scroll down to Downloader, then press the center button once to enable it. If you have an older Fire Stick model, this specific option might not be there. It might say Apps from Unknown Sources, and you'll only have the choice to turn it on or off. If you see that, simply switch it on. Now that we're all set, press the Home button on your remote. Next, find the newly installed Downloader app. The simplest way to see all your applications is to slide almost to the very end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This shows all your installed apps. The newest applications always show up at the very bottom. Just scroll down through your apps and the very last one will be the most recent app you've added. Let's open Downloader together. A small pop-up might appear. Just click the center button to close it. This application lets you visit almost any website. To do this, click the center button two times, once, then twice. A keyboard will pop up, allowing you to type in the website address. Today, I'll take us to a specific website. I'll display the address on the screen as I type. Be sure to enter it exactly as it appears, or you might get an error. Take your time, pause the video if you need to. Once you've accurately typed the address, highlight Go and click the center button. You'll now see a small red circle on my screen. You might, however, see a box. If you see this box, move the red circle onto that black box uh, and click the center button. If not, the download will begin automatically. You won't need to click a thing. Let's wait for it to finish. As soon as the download is complete, it will prompt you to set up the app. Just slide over and click Install. Once it's done setting up, slide over and click the Done button. Clicking Done will bring us back to this screen. We're going to slide over, click Delete, 
and one more time, slide over and click delete. Okay, everyone, that's everything we need from the downloader app. Let's press the home button. Next, we need to return to your Amazon Fire Stick settings and change one more thing. Remember, the quickest way to get to your settings is to slide all the way to the end. Then, once again, click the center button on My Fire TV or My Device. After that, click on Developer Options and one more time, go into Install Unknown Apps. Go ahead and click that. This time, you'll notice Unlin has appeared on the list. If you have more apps, just scroll down until you highlight Unlin. And as before, press the center button once to make sure it's turned on. Now that everything is complete, press the home button one more time. We need to find that new Unlin app. Remember, just slide over and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. All your apps are displayed on this list and the newest one is always at the very bottom. And right there is the new Unlin app we just added. Let's open it together. The initial prompt asks you to enter a new library. Click the center button on your remote two times, once, then twice, just like that. Another keyboard will pop up asking for the library code. Folks, I've created my own special app store, giving exclusive access to my viewers and followers. I put in a lot of effort to include only the best, most recent applications in my store. All I ask in return for my hard work, for keeping these apps updated, for making this video, and for answering your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That's your way of saying thank you for providing all this for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type in this code. Be sure to take your time it must be entered exactly as written, or you might get an error. If I'm moving too quickly, just pause the video. Once you've correctly entered that code, click next and give it a moment to load. Welcome everyone to my exclusive app store. I've stocked it with 80 amazing applications for free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and so much more. Many people ask about my favorites. My top recommendations for cutting the cord are conveniently located here in the welcoming message. Also, a frequent question is why a VPN is so important when using these apps. I've included a brief message here, so please take a moment to read all the information on the welcoming screen. After you've finished reading everything, click the center button on your remote three times. This action will organize my store for you. Slide up and down to browse different groups, or left and right for individual apps. Today, I'll showcase a few apps, demonstrate how the store functions, explain how to add apps, and guide you on how to start enjoying your free entertainment. Now, scroll all the way down through the categories until you find category number 14, awesome YouTube examples. The first app I wanna download here is IP Vanish VPN. It's my top recommendation for ensuring everyone's safety and privacy while using all these fantastic applications. Some individuals have trouble downloading or using apps because their internet provider blocks them. With IPVanish VPN, you remain completely secure and can bypass those restrictions your internet company imposes on you and your devices. To download IPVanish VPN, highlight it, then click Download. Alternatively, you can go back to the Fire Stick home screen, find the magnifier icon, scroll down, click the search bar, and when the keyboard appears, type IP Vanish. You'll see it in Suggestions, highlight and click the center button. On this page, select the app from the list, and in this menu, click the center button to begin the installation. Once installed, click the center button to launch the app. Now you can log in. Don't have an account yet? Well then, I'll make it incredibly simple for you to get one, so you can browse without any concerns and unlock all those amazing apps. First, grab your phone or computer and open your internet browser. Go to the website displayed on the screen now. You can also point your camera at the QR code in the corner to go directly there. I'll also include the website link in the description and comments below. Next, select your preferred plan. You can even choose just one month to try it out and see the difference for yourself. After you've acquired it, they'll send an email with your secret username and password. Once you have that, your Fire Stick will be safe and secure. Now, log into the IP Vanish app and click Connect. I also want to show you some settings. 
click the gear icon inside the IP Vanish app. A menu will appear. I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If I click the center button and enable this, you won't have to worry about manually activating your VPN every time you power up your device. The VPN will connect automatically. Ensuring your movie viewing isn't interrupted by having to check if it's on. It will handle it for you. Okay, so now that we're completely secure, let's start getting some of these fantastic applications. Press the home button and go back to your apps. And once again, open the Unlin application, then navigate back to the same category. Now folks, I wanna show you the next four apps you should download to access free movies, TV shows, sports, and live TV. You'll find four more apps that we can install in this category. It's also incredibly helpful to carefully read the descriptions so you fully grasp what each app is, what it does, and what actions you might need to take. Here's the first one. You'll see an app name that offers live TV, pay-per-view, and adult content. Just click on it, then click Download, and we'll simply wait for it to reach 100%. This might take a moment or two, depending on your internet connection and the file size. Afterward, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Give it a moment. It will take us right back into the store so we can acquire more apps. Then, you'll discover an app name that provides you with all the sports content. Just highlight it and click Download. We'll wait for this to reach 100%. Again, wait a few seconds for it to finish. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Next up, you'll find an app name that delivers all the movies and all the TV shows. Just highlight it and click Download. We'll wait for this to reach 100%. I know the waiting can sometimes feel long, but it's truly worth it. As soon as you see the small box pop up, click Install App, slide over, and click Install. Now, some apps within my store require a separate player to function correctly. The app you just installed for movies and TV shows is one of those. You'll actually notice in its title that it mentions the necessity of this other player app. It might seem a little confusing now, but when you read its description here, or when you're actively using the apps, you'll see it and everything will make perfect sense. So let's download that app player now. You'll find an app name that corresponds to the required player. Click download. And again, we'll wait for it to reach 100%. This is the last time waiting, I promise. And as soon as the small box pops up, click install app, slide over and click install. Folks, it's that straightforward. We've just installed four incredible applications. There are 80 in my store, so please don't limit yourself to the few examples I demonstrated in today's video. My absolute favorite apps can be found in category number one, top apps. Explore the store and download as many applications as you wish to try. They are all completely free, so feel free to download every single one if they fit on your device. But now that you've downloaded everything you want, Let's press the home button because once again, I wanna find all those apps we just put on. And if you remember from earlier in the video, all you need to do is click on that icon with three squares and a plus sign. It shows all your apps and all the newest ones appear at the very bottom. So what I want you to do is highlight one of those new apps, then click the three lines button, also known as the menu button, to the right of your home button on your remote. When you do, a menu will slide down. Click where it says Move to Front. You'll see the app move from the bottom to the top. I want to show you the benefit of moving apps to the top for your device. So, click the Home button here. From the home screen, where you always start, you'll have easy access to those apps right here. You won't have to search for them. And now folks, I know that we've downloaded some amazing apps that provide us with free movies, TV shows, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view content. Before you ever open any of those applications, I always strongly suggest that you activate your VPN first. Guys, I simply want to express my sincere gratitude to all my followers. Your support truly means a great deal and helps me immensely. I cannot thank you enough for taking time out of your day to help me achieve a goal. I eagerly await your comments and look forward to seeing you very soon in the next video.